I'm truly honored to introduce the Mass General Hospital team who this month performed the first penile transplant in the United States. Because of the location of their loss, this has become a very private affair for them. They do not self-identify in public. Their devastating losses are endured by themselves, alone, and often and most of the time in silence. What we were trying to do were threefold. Number one, reconstruct a natural appearing uh, external genitalia. Number two, to establish urinary function and uh, continuity of the, uh, of the urinary tract. And three, potentially achieving sexual function. The following was a statement from our patient who, by the way, is an incredibly caring and unique individual. And we're really all lucky to have patients like him. In 2012, my life changed forever when I suffered a debilitating work accident followed by a devastating cancer diagnosis. Today, I begin a new chapter filled with personal hope and hope for others who have suffered gentle injuries, particularly for our service members who put their lives on the line and suffer serious damage as a result. Uh, we're very cautiously optimistic that um, Mr. Manning will continue to do well, and uh, he's a, really an amazing patient and courageous person, and um, we're very thankful for the, the donor's family who made it possible.